Hi everybody, as promised, this is my first little creative tutorial that I've put together for you while we're all cooped up at home. It's a really simple one I've decided to start out with. It's stuff that you'll probably have lying around the house and there's various different options with materials so it's quite a flexible little project. I tried doing it with Frankie who's three and it's a little bit challenging for her. Um, she ended up stealing a ball of yarn and going and doing her own thing in the kitchen. She made a spider web everywhere, but um, it was worth sacrificing a ball of yarn for it. She had a great time. The materials you'll need to make your woven plant pot are an 11 point star printed out to the size of an A4 sheet of paper. You'll need a plastic plant pot or a plastic bottle. If you're going to use a plastic bottle, you just need to cut around the neck and remove the top part, and then it will work in the same way as your plant pot. You'll need a Sharpie or a pencil. Sharpies are easier for marking plastic. A sturdy pair of kitchen scissors that you don't mind cutting plastic with. Not essential, but quite useful, a large tapestry needle for sewing in loose ends. And then just a selection of yarns. These ones I got from Oxfam a couple of months ago. I've got some naturally dyed linen, some recycled denim, and also this lovely recycled banana yarn, all of which I sell on my website. And I am still sending web orders out. So if you're short of yarn, just have a look online. You can also use string from the kitchen cupboard, that would work just as well. So we're going to start with our plant pot. I've chosen a slightly larger plastic plant pot and I'm going to place it over the top of my 11 point star. Taking my sharpie, I'm just going to mark evenly all the way around. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Once you've marked all round the outside, take your kitchen scissors and cut all the way down. To the bottom try and finish each cut in the same place this this is quite useful this plant pot because it's got a line an even line running all the way around the base of it so I'm using that as a guide where to stop if you don't have a line as a guide you could always draw one on bit of a wonky one. Let's try and straighten that up a little bit. There we go. And so you've now got lots of different sections to wind your yarn around. So now you're ready to start weaving your yarn around your plant pot. I'm going to lose the paper. These are the yarns that I've selected. I got these in a charity shop a while ago. And I'm going to start with this, this pinky purple here. And you just slide, you leave a little tail on the end and just slide that right down to the bottom there and what you're going to do leaving the yarn attached to where it's come from so the spool or ball you're then going to weave over over the first strip and then you're going to bring that yarn round the back of the second one 
and over the top of the third. And round the back of the fourth, over the top of the fifth. And then you just keep weaving round and round. And then you can occasionally, you can pull those down to the bottom. This is quite fine, this yarn. So it's going to take a little while. And then you've done, you've come full circle and just keep going. You want to attach another colour. The easiest way to do this, I think, is just to leave a little tail sticking out here. Now, this one is going to come over the top of this section here. So we want the knot to sit behind there. So do the knot on this side so you can measure it out accurately-ish. There you go. Pull that through. So it's going to go over and that knot is going to sit behind that next section. So we'll weave it over the top of that one and then back round that way. And then you're carrying on with your over, under, over, under. I'm just coming up to the end here, right up to the lip of the plant pot. And so this is where your non-essential but quite useful tapestry needle comes in. Leave a little tail, thread that loose end through the tapestry needle, and then you can just post that back down, you can weave it over and under a few threads and just pull that, pull that through just to tidy away that loose end. If you're feeling particular about it, you, you could do the same with these loose ends. And what I'd recommend doing, because they're quite short, would be to weave over and under a few times first and then as you pull that needle through, just, just slide those loose ends through on the way past. And just say, so pull them down and through. And you could do that with all of them. I'm not going to, but um, there you go. There's your little woven plant pot ready for you to either line with a plastic bag and put a little plant in or you could just use it as as a pen pot i really hope you enjoy making them and uh, do tag me in on any that you make i love seeing your creations thank you bye